insane. You have shot for a mark about insane P TV so there's a reason in Tina uh, miracles of Waji and uh, one of the former youngest uh, municipal chief executives in the country hailing from the land of Okiape mine was sending some serious thought-provoking questions and uh, issues to think about Akoma Justice Atukuba uh, former Supreme Court judge of the Supreme Court of Ghana uh, Justice Atukuba Yebekaya at the lecture CB ever to form a far reforms our audience as a possible in the Supreme Court say Supreme Court justices maybe you have or me a politically now some of the decisions of me make especially cases regarding just equation only or more any journey now miracles of uh, being a presidential staffer and a former MC with a strong understanding of governance it raises certain questions and say oh justice at in 1992 who stand there as a member of parliament for a political party emma was a sign say okwa kodong the ndc that political party a free war and an ndc uh omo flag bearer and an presidential candidate the then the late flight lieutenant jerry john rollins his excellency a year who served as Supreme Court judge. So reforms in na okay. I didn't at that time. One farmer will cry in a long run. Say oh, casa from a political cap, from a political point of view. Now some of these questions are already you know. Actually, say justice at Tuguba. They were all casa. Ye ni sa powers ah. Uh, my presidency, e ye, Supreme Court, and infinite, and comma, young found comma chief, one ABB, and the long run issues of political interference. A bad day, a baby, ain't he justice of Tukuba? Come again, young Kuni Kuti, miracles, a boy, and some other two form a fat justice of Tukuba, and the issues will raise here regarding the Supreme Court and the uh, judges. Those actions. And that's from our perception mm -hmm. and people's backgrounds. That's our problem. Because if you look at all the options and alternatives and references we can make, there is none that does not throw this issue of background into the conversation. So I don't think the background matters. I mean, take elections. When I would inside reference the American system, the lower court system where they vote. Let's assume we are going to vote for Supreme Court judges in Ghana or to vote for judges in general in Ghana. What do you think will happen? If I become a lawyer or I become a judge and I want to be voted for, I will win in the Capitol North. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because everybody in the Capitol North will know that this judge, Dennis Miracle Sabuaji, is MPP. And we in the Capitol North, we are predominantly MPP. Honorable Nisa Fuseni, win in whole central mm -hmm. and so you'd realize that ultimately Too we are still so going to I'm, I just, I'm just using no, okay. i don't want to use his own yes i don't want to use his own okay. 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 so you'd realize that ultimately mm. we'll come back to the same point because election of the judges will not take away the background of the individuals mm -hmm. So it brings the conversation back to the point I made. And that is why today, hands up completely for lawyer Bobby Banson. I share completely in his views and his position on the matter. I think that we are overstretching the conversation. So long as these judges are going to adjudicate and they are going to give verdicts, people are going to win cases and others will lose. And when others lose, they would raise concerns. The concerns could be legitimate, others could be technical, others could be factual, others would also have impugning impugning your background. So I don't see any way out of this, except for us to say, don't let us generalize the whole thing and make it look like it is a 90% rot. I think it's a 10% and a 90% positive. Because today there are several cases in the judicial 
service from the lower courts to the Supreme Court that have been adjudicated and nobody is complaining about. Why do we political class want to impose our 5 or 10% cases on the whole system that is being operated? And then we say it and then we don't give, we say, okay, um, they should take the president out. When we take the president out, who are those who are going to appoint? We should give it to a certain body. Okay, let's bring GPR to you. Let's bring this. Let, do you know where the GPR to you nominee is coming from? And then ultimately, when I was listening to Prof, I heard him. For example, when he got to the traditional council, where he said he's quite independent. Because even in the traditional council, the traditional council rep or the house of chiefs rep, we will dig into his background. We will. So there is no way out except to stick to the facts. Did the ruling go in my favor? Yes. Was it against me? Yes. Do I feel that the judgment was fair or not? It wasn't fair. Is it because this person is Miracle's brother? That is why he ruled against me. What is my basis? Let's have a conversation on that. People have been sentenced to death. And afterwards, it was realized that they were innocent. That is just the system that the human beings we've taken for ourselves. People have been sentenced to 30 years imprisonment in the U.S. and other places. And after 30 years, they've had to be released and compensated. It is a fact you present at court that determines the verdict for you. I don't think it's because the Attorney General, under this dispensation, has lost several, several cases in the Supreme Court. Hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Hasn't he? The same Supreme Court has ruled severally against him. Who are the proponents of this whole idea that, oh, it's all independence? Lawyer Justice Atuguba himself, in 1992, he stood as a candidate for the MPP before the MPP pulled out. Two years down the line, he declared openly in China Paga that he's no longer MPP and switched to the NDC. Then in 1995, he was appointed to the Supreme Court. He's the longest serving Supreme Court judge we can, we can recall in recent days. But he was appointed by President Rawlins in 1995 as an NDC member, Khaled. Is it the case that when he ruled against the MPP in 2013, it was because he was NDC? I don't think so. It was based on the facts at play. So I think that we are really overstretching it. I am telling you that no matter the alternative or the option that we use, Alfred, no matter, let us, let's throw all the options. I would always find evidence of people coming up with background. Professor Enchi, he knows it. He's described this morning as a governance expert, but he's a politician. He contested on an NDC ticket, but he's a very fine brain, listening to all the things he's saying, very fantastic ideas. Does it mean that if he qualifies to be a lawyer, qualifies to become a judge, he cannot be a Supreme Court judge because he ran as a candidate for the NDC in New Jersey North. Is that what we are saying? And that when I go before him in his court and I have evidence and facts, because I am MPP, he will throw away my evidence and facts and rule against me? I think that we are just overly stretching the conversation. And, and that's why justice must not only be done, it must be manifestly seen to be done. I don't think there's any problem with our system. I doubt because I think the problem with the system is that the problem with the system is that we impugn people's credibility based on where we stand. That is all. Because it's not the same Supreme Court that has given several verdicts for and against the NDC and the MPP. Sometimes the NDC will go to court. When they win, you hear them praising the judiciary. Sometimes they go, they lose, you hear them attacking the judiciary. I think that it is just the political class that has hijacked this conversation. Have you talked about the guys in the magistrate court and the circuit court? I said it here the last time. I stand in my office as an MC in the Capim North and I see my circuit court and I see people come there and being thrown into jail for stealing of goats and, and fowls and what have you, sometimes even without proper uh, representation. Those are the reforms we should be talking about. That how do we ensure that when we talk about judiciary, it's not just the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, Alfred, it's not only educating on NDC MPP cases. And I insist that I want to challenge everybody to give me the alternatives. None of the alternatives will come without somebody being colored or tainted. Each of them would come with somebody. Okay, so you bring chiefs across Ghana. They are the only ones who are becoming chiefs based on their, you know, inheritance to be nominating judges. 
they are go likely going to nominate Professor Entry. But I will come and say, ah, but this prof, he contested for in the NDC in 2023 parliamentary elections in New Delhi, not. Meanwhile, prof qualifies. And then we'll go and nominate um, uh, Alfred. I say, oh, but Alfred is a brother to Dennis Miracle Sabuaji. Alfred and Dennis Miracle Sabuaji are direct brothers. Dennis Miracle Sabuaji is MPP. So Alfred is MPP. Let's look at the election option. There are two forms of elections. One that we do through parliament. And that's what we do at the moment. Like you rightly said, the current judges, when they disagreed, they voted on them. And like Honorable Minister said, that is the view of the people. They are representing the views of the people. And so they voted 139, 134. What is the rule? The rule says that majority carries the day. And in our dispensation, once the majority has voted, it is assumed that that's what the people want. Let's talk about general election. Ashanti region, Eastern region judges will be MPP. Voter region judges will be NDC. And so we'll come back to square one. We are overstretching the conversation. Those who are proposing and making this comment are only saying it from parochial uh, 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 perspective because Justice Atuguba himself, who is recommending this, is a Benito was scarlet. Why is it that his entire long service as a Supreme Court judge, the longest serving Supreme Court judge, all this while, he never, for once, never for once, Raise this concern that, as you rightly said, mm -hmm. and Abu Yunisa said, has been there from Nkrumah's time. He was okay. on a bench. He was seated there. Why didn't he ever say that? Oh, no, you know, guys, I was appointed by President Rawlings, and I was in D.C. because it was public. And so I think that I am colored, and I disagree with this approach. So, please, I want to go out. Let's change the system. At some point, he was an acting chief justice. Why didn't he change it? Look at this process. The Judicial Council will make some recommendations. Okay. Give it to the president. Right. I wrap up. Give it to the president. The president looks at it, at it. So they can present maybe 10 or 15 to the president. And the president will select two. And the president will present the two to parliament. Parliament will vet them. When parliament is satisfied, they either unanimously pass them or they vote on them. Somebody should give me a superior alternative to this. That would not have issues with it. Yeah, and what would... Thank you, Honorable.